carbon cycle. Carbon is the building block of life. It is important for the existence of nearly all organic and inorganic material on Earth. Carbon moves around the Earth and is exchanged between living things, dead things, and the air through a process called the carbon cycle. This cycle includes the following sources that release carbon into the atmosphere, sinks, which absorb carbon from the atmosphere, and reservoirs that store carbon from the atmosphere. There is not a specific starting or ending point to the carbon cycle. Instead, it is a continuous process with several steps. What are the steps of the carbon cycle? Glad you asked. Let's start with the atmosphere. Carbon moves from the atmosphere to plants. During this step, Plants take in carbon dioxide from the air and combine it with the energy from the sun to create their own food in a process called photosynthesis. As the plants break down carbon dioxide, they release oxygen. Plants to animals. Humans and other animals eat plants, transferring the carbon from the plants into the animals. Plants or animals to ground. When a plant or an animal dies, their remains decompose, which means that the leftover carbon is absorbed into the soil. Carbon that remains in the ground for thousands of years converts to fossil fuels, like coal and oil. Living things to the atmosphere. Carbon is sent back into the atmosphere through respiration. As you breathe, you release carbon into the air. Fossil fuels to atmosphere. The burning of wood, fossil fuels, or other objects releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Atmosphere to oceans. The cool water in oceans and other large water bodies absorb some of the carbon from the atmosphere. Warmer water releases the carbon into the atmosphere and plants absorb it again for photosynthesis. Remember, this cycle is continuous and there is no specific order to the steps. Here are a few other important facts you should know. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. It traps heat in the atmosphere and without it, the earth would be too cold to be livable. Right now, there is an imbalance between the sources and sinks of carbon. There is too much carbon being released into the atmosphere and not enough being absorbed. This has led to the Earth becoming warmer, which has led to global warming or climate change. Some of the solutions to this imbalance include planting more trees, less deforestation, and the use of natural energy sources like solar and wind power. The carbon cycle is a necessary part of the survival of plants, animals, and the planet. What are some ways you contribute to the carbon cycle? Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.